What is it? Has something happened? Uh, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scour the area. Well, scour all we like. In here. Hello, Rudo here. Let me start this video by saying I have not had an easy experience getting into Dragon's Dogma 2. I know many have had crashes, bugs and jank from the get-go, including myself, and Dragon's Dogma 2 faced the backlash for this, but let me tell you, this game is f***ing awesome. Now you might be thinking, 24 hours, that's not enough. That's not enough to give your opinion on this game and how good it really is. But it's enough based on the fact that I've had to wait. I have wanted nothing more than to slay trolls and defeat ogres, but I have held myself back. And I'm going to tell you why. Dragon's Dogma 2 actually made me realize something. And hold on to your anger because this might be triggering. It made me realize my graphics card just isn't enough anymore. How did it do that? Two reasons. One, the options menu in Dragon's Dogma 2 is actually f***ing brilliant. The caveat and disclaimer to that is that there were features missing on release from the graphical settings menu. Well, the latest patch actually fixes some of those issues, but even without the fixes, in the first place, Dragon's Dogma 2 is one of the first games I've seen in a long time actually show you how the memory is being affected in the game. Granted, games should absolutely not be that CPU intensive on release. That's a given. And yes, the microtransactions shouldn't be there, but you don't have to use them to do anything in the game. I've actually gone as far to upgrade my GPU and power supply because of Dragon's Dogma 2. I've gone from a 6GB GTX 1660 Ti to a 16GB RTX 4060 Ti and my power supply has been upgraded from a 450 watt to a 750. Now I'm hoping the same as everybody else that the patches will fix everything on all platforms but I don't blame Dragon's Dogma 2 for making me realize I needed new specs to keep up with the ever-growing demands of new releases. No, on the contrary, I thank it. Yes, I could have simply waited for the patches, but looking at my settings, I've gone from being able to play a newly released game on low settings to playing it on high, and I can see a marked difference. The magical effects and lighting are better, the textures look better, it's not just frame rate that's improved, it's other graphically intensive aspects of the game which have high demand, but if games are going to push the limits of new tech, then we aren't going to see less of this, we're going to see more of it. And the gaming companies have ever increasing demands before release, crunch is worse around those times for the staff, and bigger companies have vested interests pulling them in different directions. Dragon's Dogma 2 has a fantastic art direction and stays true to its original source material. We have to remember, this isn't an indie release like Power World or Dredge. This is f Dragon's Dogma 2 we're talking about here. Have we all forgotten what Skyrim was like on launch? And just look at that game now. You could play that game on ultra settings on your Game Boy Advanced if you wanted to. That's an exaggeration, obviously. The point is, it's come a very long way, and the scope of that game increased with its lifespan. My instant love of Dragon's Dogma 2 comes down to three things. Number one, combat. The combat in this game is insanity. One moment you're getting smashed to smithereens, the next you've just been hurled a hundred miles into the air, the next you're taking the killing swipe at an ogre's face. It is f awesome. It's fun, it's what gaming should feel like. The class system has always been intuitive with the way that you can do upgrades to your skills and swap on the fly to what profession you would like to be. Mages are awesome. With the abilities and support spells they can offer to you and your other two pawns, I would say personally they are a necessity when starting out in Dragon's Dogma 2, but it's personal preference and I haven't even scratched the surface with the other professions. So far, I've only played as the fighter and the berserker. I have yet to unlock uh, many of the other classes, and I'm very much looking forward to doing so. This gives the game 
endless replayability opportunities. Greetings. The second thing which solidifies my love for this game already after only 24 hours playtime is immersive environments. Dragon's Dogma 2 has blown me away with its environments. They're so easy to get lost in. Uh, you want to explore them. Something catches your eye and you're drawn to it. It's what exploration should feel like and this is a masterclass in how to do it. Other games will no doubt have noticed and will try to emulate the way it's been done here. But I believe what they've done here is brewed a concoction of wonder and intrigue by mixing in Skyrim's expansive feel with Elden Ring's user interface and map and home baked in that Dragon's Dogma staple which is the pawn and combat system. It is simply chef's kiss and the final thing which brings everything together for me is the overshadowing mega boss the villain the villain of the piece the only way i know how to explain this is three words jack of blades fables jack of blades was the villain we all loved to hate but he was cool when I first played Fable, which is now Fable the Lost Chapters, and if you're going to play anything, my recommendation, if you've not played it, is to go download it and play that game. Anyway, it made me actually want to play the game as Jack of Blades. Um, it was such a beautiful, sort of, evil, cool, complete head, and he was the villain that you wanted to be there. You know, you could always feel his presence right through the game. Now, I'm only 24 hours into Dragon's Dogma 2, but I feel the same way. I fought my first Drake recently, and apart from it being an amazing fight, it was a stark reminder of the overshadowing of the who stole my heart and ate it and turned me into the Dragonborn. I mean, uh, Arisen. It's awesome. The game has layers and that's how it should be done. And people who have instantly written off the game because of launch issues, I implore you to rethink, give it some time, allow the patches to roll out, and let this game become what we all know it will be. A solid, fun RPG that will be enjoyed for many years to come. But none of this matters if they aren't fixing the game, I hear you say. They are fixing it. Let's take a look at the recent patch notes and updates which are being rolled out. Planned updates for Dragon's Dogma 2. At the time of this recording, the updates have already been rolled out to, I believe, PlayStation 5 and Steam. Uh, Xbox is still waiting for theirs, I believe. Um, however, let's have a look at these from the top. So the first one, adding the option to start a new game when save data already exists. This is simply, it, it doesn't mean that you can actually have two save files running simultaneously, which I think is what people were expecting. And if I'm going to be honest, it does really suck. Skyrim can do it. Why can't Dragon Dogma 2 do it? It needs to be added to the game so that you can have multiple save files. Um, but it, they have patched it in where you can now actually start a new game where save data is already existent. Second one, changing the number of art of metamorphosis items available at pawn guilds in the game to 99. I don't feel like that affects me. Third, making, ch making the quest that allows players to acquire their own dwelling where they can save and rest available earlier in the game. Yeah, that's great. Uh, I did actually get it before the patch so and it didn't take me that long to get it in the first place but it's good that they've done that miscellaneous text display fixes good obviously miscellaneous bug fixes fantastic uh, so that's for all platforms and then we have updates for playstation 5 and xbox series x and s adding the option to switch motion blur on and off in the options which is uh great if you you know if you don't like motion blur and you prefer it off 
they've now got the option. Adding the option to switch ray tracing on or off in the options, that's going to help uh, for the console players who are having really bad performance issues. Adding the option to set frame rate to either variable or max FPS in the options, another really good option that's been patched in. Um, capping it at that 30 for FPS is going to give you a more stable experience if that's what you want. And it does say these options will not affect the frame rate significantly. Frame rate improvements are planned for future updates. So that is for console players. And then you have updates for Steam, improving quality when DLSS super resolution is enabled. The files were actually already in the game. They just weren't, you weren't able to actually set them. So it's, it's great that they've added that because a lot of people were upset about that and fixing an issue where models appeared low quality under some specific settings interesting interesting update i believe the main issue which has caused my crashes because i have had two crashes has been the npcs in the main towns and just whenever i've gone through an area where there seems to be a lot of npcs all of a sudden it crashes. In summary, I already love this game. I love Dark Arisen. I think it's a shame how Dragon's Dogma 2 has launched, but truly believe we have a duty to inform of our experiences as gamers and how things are for us. So that was the purpose of this video. If you enjoyed this content, then please do uh, all the stuff, you know, drop a like if you liked it, a dislike if you didn't. If you want to see more from me, then please subscribe and uh, hit the bell if you want to stay up to date of when I post new content. I will leave my links to my Twitch and Discord server in the description. Please feel free to join my community. We would love to have you. Hell, if this goes viral, what's the worst that could happen? Well, the worst is that you all hate my opinion and disagree with me. The best is that you sent this video to Asmongold so he can react to it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Goodbye. Some said draws near. We shall have to rely on our other senses as the darkness robbed us of our sight.